let's jump in to your guys's message I wasn't gonna hop on here but I figured I could do this without like taking up too much time if you guys are on patreon okay patreon you guys have an upload that will be posted within the next 48 hours so make sure you are um, checking your emails or your notifications if you have the app okay so again if you guys are on patreon your guys' upload, which is you guys voted for the person on your mind. That will be uploaded in the next 48 hours. I will also post it in the community tab when it is live, okay? So you guys won't miss out when it's up, okay? When it's up and it's stuck. And then remember that if you guys are new to Patreon, you guys have access to the entire library. So while you are on this app or this site um you guys get everything ad free and what you can do is you can make a playlist and you can shuffle that for divine guidance as long as you are a member okay it's only 11 11 a month thank you guys for being here i love you guys so so much if you guys are able to participate don't forget to drop your you know what's and your amens let's bless this message anything not of the light or the divine plan is no longer welcome here and must leave immediately Calling upon my angels, my ancestors, only of the highest white light and Archangel Michael as I calibrate to the energy of the collective. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Amen. You guys have earbuds in, operating heavy machinery, driving a car, whatever will have you. Make sure you turn down the volume just a little bit because I'm going to be hitting the bell a lot louder than this. Okay. Your guys' message today is you're crushing everything you touch okay you are crushing everything you touch people are starting to find out who you are affirm it below people are starting to find out who i am <laughs> they can't beat you and they sure as hell cannot join you i'm gonna say that again okay they cannot beat you and they cannot join you so there's these people that have been watching you very closely as you guys are getting acquainted with who you are. You are really regathering your strength. You are in a state of re-energizing yourself and going off the grid and kind of like going rogue. And as you guys are going rogue, people are starting to become acquainted with the facts of, oh, they're an earth angel, duh. They're a legend, duh. They're... Definitely iconic, duh. They're chosen. They're an earth angel. They're the bad guy. Whatever they want to say, okay? But people are starting to figure out who you are as you are stepping into who you are and also not giving a you-know-what. Right now, you don't care whose feelings you hurt in regards to standing up for yourself and protecting yours. Okay, you are protecting yours, you are protecting your family, your loved ones, and there are people coming for that, and you are not having it. So if you guys have been running a social media business, okay, that's going to be for a, a big portion of you guys. It does not matter what that social media is for. It's just your purpose, whatever you guys are, whatever your purpose is, I should say. People are really trying to undermine you at this time because they can't they can't beat you so they've tried to join you and as they've tried to join you they're seeing that like you're not dumb okay no one can run game on you no one and so these people are trying to come in as a friend but they've been acting like a troll you guys either have people acting like trolls, whole demons, the house, or they are trying to be a friend and they're trying to emulate what you're doing. Uh, for some of you guys, it's going to be both. Okay. Hold on, guys.
So, hold on. Hi, guys. So, there is different people, and no matter what comes at you, you are crushing it. Okay? They can't beat you. They can't join you. And they are really starting to, maybe they just didn't let it marinate. Maybe they just did not let it sink in that you are what you say, that you do, you walk that walk, you talk that talk. You're walking that line hard. And people are like, they've never seen discipline like what you're doing and how you maneuver. You have what I call the gravitas, okay? That is an ancient Roman virtue. You have the vigor, the seriousness, the strength. To make anything assume the position. Okay. And this is why you're getting re-energized. And you are tapping back into that. Because you're like. Ah, you better talk to me nice. I don't think you know who I am. But don't worry. You will find out. Okay. Affirm it below. They will find out. They will find out who I am. Yes they will. And they're going to be feeling dumb. Pretty freaking dumb. Because. The confusion tactic, that's not going to work with you, okay? The undermining tactic, that is not going to work with you. The I'm your friend, eh, that is not going to work with you. And coming in hard and fast, <laughs> that's the quickest way for them to get knocked on the ground, okay? You are bopping Decepticons left and right, and this just tells you that you are getting ready to rise, Sprinkle, sprinkle, twinkle, twinkle, okay? So you guys, affirm it below. Twinkle, twinkle, baby, because these people, they just don't know, but they're going to. They're going to. Um, yeah, it's sad, <laughs> okay? I want you guys to drop your trumpets down below because we are sounding the trumpets. We can hear them. It is the day of reckoning. It is the awakening for those that were coming at you some type of way. They are really starting to get more familiar. They Again, they're letting it sink in like, oh, I thought I knew who I was talking to. No, now they officially know who they're talking to, okay? Drop your confirmations. Drop your affirmations. Now they officially know who they're talking to. They officially know now mm -hmm. because before they wanted to pretend like they didn't know who they were speaking to. They officially know who they're talking to now. They better talk to you nice. The trumpets are here. Judgment is here. The day of reckoning is here and it ain't going nowhere until they sit all the way down. These people, they need to take several seats. God is preparing your table. In the presence of your enemies, in the presence of these Chuchalinis and these Decepticons. As that table is being prepared, they're like knocking on the door like they have no invite. They have no business in your neighborhood, no business in your neck of the woods. And they're like, um, excuse me, I brought this busted, dusted, crusted casserole. And you know if you let them in, they're not going to actually sit that casserole down on the table. They're going to try to take all your contacts. They're going to try to talk to all your people. They're going to try to mess with your, your occasion. And they're going to try to shake the table. They're not here to bring the doilies. They're not here to bring the china. They're not even here to bring a good casserole. They are going places they are not invited. And it's going to get them fucked up. Okay? They are going places they are not invited. And they are trying it. God goes hard for you. You will be vindicated like never before. This table that's being prepared, these people, they can see it. And they're like, I'm going to sit there. Says who? Riddle me what? Says who? You're going to sit there. You guys, the people that you are dealing with, not all their dogs are barking. And because of all of the misfortune that you guys have been dealing with and how you guys have been becoming even more resilient, this is preparing you not only for having resilience and standing on business 10 toes down, but having you, like, having no t tolerance, okay? I got a zero tolerance for bullshit. No Fs to give. Dumpster fires not invited. No, they are not. And 
It's just that just the cheese is off the cracker. Okay. The marbles are, they're scattered. They're not even chasing them. Okay. Sound the trumpets. Victory will be yours. So you guys can drop your trumpets and say victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. You guys are crushing everything you touch, especially the wicked. Okay, so a lot of the things I'm saying, you guys can take them as affirmation, so I don't have to say all the extra stuff, all the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? You are crushing the wicked. You are crushing everything you touch, okay? So I could say, I am crushing everything I touch, <laughs> especially the wicked. You are the twist in the tail, Okay, I am the twist in the tail. <clears throat> I'm an angel, duh. I'm an earth angel, duh. I am chosen, duh. Bestie, fill in the blank. It is officially hitting the fan because they officially know who you are. I'm going to say that again for the trolls in the back. Okay, not the besties in the back because they're listening. The trolls in the back that be watching. It is officially hitting the fan because they officially know who you are. They can't unsee it. They can't pretend. They can't pretend anymore. These people are finding out who you are. They can't beat you. And so they're going to try to join you. But their access is denied. Okay? Access denied. You guys already know. Because you guys have been going through hell. I mean, a literal hell the last two weeks. You think that this little chuchalini over here, you're going to be like, yeah, girl, let's have a tea party. <laughs> yeah, girl, let's go shopping. Yeah, boy, I'll go out with you. No, no, you will have no tolerance for this. None, none, none. You have been going through it. So when they come with the bullshit, you're like, you need to sit down, okay? You need to sit down because God is about to put you in the hot seat. So you need to get all the way up out of my face, okay? They have been warned. They have been warned. And you have already warned them, okay? So it's shots fired. They're not getting a no other warning. They officially know where you stand. They officially know who you are. And so they've been officially hell-bent on making you look dumb or trying to do what you do better than you. The stupidity is on another level. The audacity is on another level. They're officially trying to do you better than you. Some of you guys are getting no sleep. You guys are running on fumes. You guys are off the grid, re-energizing. So when they come with the, with the, the BS, you're like... <laughs> Access denied. Let them officially get acquainted with who you are. You are the wrong one. Okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you are smoke show. And that just means like you are just crushing it in every sense of the word. Iconic, a legend, a goat in every sense of the word. You are a smoke show. And these people are bothered because they cannot get... They cannot figure out your ingredients. They cannot figure out your cheat codes. They cannot figure out how you're doing it. They can't beat you, so they're going to try to join you. Access denied. They want to chew up, waste, spit on, or siphon your blessings. I'm going to say that again. They want to chew up, waste, spit on, or siphon your blessings. Beware. You are being shown who can't be happy for you. And it's being shown. Um, thank you, Gray, for your donation. You guys are being shown in every sense of the word who cannot be happy for you. Okay, it's going to come in a lot of loud ways, but in some of them low key ways. So this is what I'm getting in the message that I was given. If you guys have friends that you kind of like don't know where you stand with them, sometimes you like hope that it's good, but you kind of don't know. Maybe there's some distance between you guys um, or maybe it's a reconciliation. 
For those people specifically, it's going to come in low key, very, very low, almost subliminal, so low. But everybody else that hates to see it, they're coming in high, loud, obnoxious, belligerent, foaming at the mouth like a dog with rabies, okay? And it's almost like Morse code. This is what they've been doing. They've been doing that for months, not days, not weeks, months. They've been like, did they see me? I came for them. You're like, I didn't see shit because I'm not worried about you. Okay. And then they're just like, did they, I think they saw it that time. You've been ignoring these people for a long time. So they're coming in hot. They're coming in fast and they're coming in dumb. Okay. And so you guys have like either some peers on social media. Okay. I'm getting that. This is a lot on the internet. You guys have peers on social media or long distance acquaintances on social media or a friend that you have reconciled with, okay? People that you don't really know or a friend that you used to know. But most of all, peers on social media, people that are in your arena, okay? So if you are an influencer, other influencers. If you are a tarot card reader, other readers. If you guys are a Reiki healer, other Reiki healers. If you are um, whatever you be doing, that arena God chose you for, okay? That arena God chose you for that industry. And these people got it all the way twisted. You are the twist in the tail. You, that is you, okay? And so these people, these alleged peers in your arena, they cannot be happy for you. And so what they're doing is they're trying to come in very subliminal because they are so scared of getting off with their head. They're so worried about what could possibly happen to them that they are walking on their actual tippy toes to emulate what you're doing. And a lot of you guys haven't been paying attention, but now you're starting to see it. You're like, and it's to give you a hint that like everything ain't all right with this alleged acquaintance or um, everyone acting like, oh, we're all good in this category over here. Okay, we're all good on this social media platform over here. All of these influencers get along, but you actually know that's not the case because these people aren't actually supporting you. They're actually trying to emulate things that you're you're doing, and it's coming in very subliminal. It's coming in very low-key. Okay, so that's what I got in your guys' download. What the devil is doing, what Rumpelstiltskin, what Steven is doing is taking anyone that is weak around you, anyone that is weak around you, unhealed around you, and ripping them open, okay, Busting it wide open to where they will be used for the devil's bidding. And they're, you might be thinking like, oh, I thought they were nice and I wanted to get to know them, but I guess not. I guess not. It's because these blessings are not supposed to be siphoned. You have blessings coming in, but you have to see with your zero tolerance right now who you cannot be giving these blessings to, giving these come uppings to, okay? So let me give you guys an example. Say you have some peers that you support, you salute, you like on social media, right? You guys are all in the same arena. And you know that you've been going through it, you've been keeping to yourself, you don't really feel supported, but you support others while they're going through their dark night of the soul, while they're going through the thick of it. You guys be supporting them. You are just more private because of the type of spiritual warfare that you deal with. Because most likely, whoever I'm speaking to, you are chosen. Okay? And it's like, if you were to receive a huge milestone, or if you were to receive a big increase or a promotion you would really start paying it forward. That's the type of person you are. You would start paying it forward. These people are not supposed to be around while you pay it forward. That is what I'm getting from what I wrote down. 
Okay, so what I channeled is that was a Harley. Okay, if you are new here, there are a lot of motorcycles in my neighborhood, like motorcycles on motorcycles on motorcycles, all kinds of toys running around here, zooming, zipping, bopping, whatever. And so we take Harleys, four wheelers. That's another Harley. We take Harleys as, as the dings. That's a street bike. This is your message, bestie, claim it. Drop your motorcycles down below. <laughs> I can't, okay? That was three bikes, two Harleys, one street bike. So we take the street bikes, we take the Harleys, we take the dirt bikes even, and we also take the four-wheelers from time to time when the little kitties be running around on them. We'd be taking those too. As the dings, as the notifications, as the confirmations. And so people are just starting to see well, dang, they're doing, they're, they can tell that you're, that's a bike kind of idling. Um, but I don't think you guys will be able to hear this one. There is, there are a lot of people watching you guys and they can tell that you're very secretive and that you're very private. They can tell that there's something underlying. They can tell that some, there's something off with you, but You'll never, you'll never admit it. You will never admit it out loud, okay? So they're seeing, they're seeing you and they're looking for a crack. They're looking for something underlying. They know, but they don't really know. And because of that, they feel with every fiber of their being that you are in the, the verge of a breakthrough, of a come up in. And so there's a lot of people trying to latch themselves to you. I love you too. There are a lot of people trying to latch on to you. And the ones that know that they cannot latch on to you, like they absolutely know, they are coming in angry and belligerent and crazy. Because they want, if they can't, they can't beat you, okay? They can't join you. So they're like, well, nobody needs to listen to them. They don't even know what they're talking about. They don't even know what they're talking about. Like they are, they will spam at the highest, the upteenth degree. They will spam. They will start burner accounts. Okay. They will start all of these different accounts just to try to discredit you. That is how mad they are that they cannot beat you and they cannot join you. And so the other people that are trying to fly under the radar that haven't been flying under the radar with you, but they haven't done anything bad enough for you have to call them out. Because you're not close with them like that. These people are not supposed to be anywhere around, not for a collaboration, not for a shout out, not for um, sending over clientele, not for um, you referring anybody. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like you guys would pay it forward as soon as you got that blessing, you know, and you are supposed to see right now who you should not be doing that with. Okay, it could have been somebody that you guys have already supported in the past and maybe you guys kind of like had like a falling out or something, but what I'm getting is you don't have your blinders on anymore with the people in your arena that are not your friends. You are just seeing like, okay, this is all coming to pass. This is all unfolding, so I don't give my blessings over here and give my blessings over there. These... These assumptions or these beliefs that you had about certain people are being upheavaled, okay? So you guys are getting confirmations on who you should restrict in your life. If you guys are new here, I am your bestie on the internet. I am your cosmic advisor. I am your spiritual cheerleader. I'm your fairy godmother. I am all of the things. So I hope you guys are comfortable and enjoying the, the download today because you guys are about to graduate a very important lesson. You guys are crushing it, crushing everything you touch, crushing it in every sense of the word. And I'm here to remind you that after you've been through hell the last two weeks, 
Not only is it almost over, not only will you be vindicated, not only will you be blessed, but ain't nobody coming around. Ain't nobody coming around, bestie, to have access to what you're getting. This is your spiritual inheritance, okay? <clears throat> this is your spiritual inheritance. I had a subscriber. I don't know. Um, I think it was a she, but regardless, I had a subscriber message uh, or comment on a live stream from a couple days ago, the day that I did three messages for you guys, um, three channeled messages, I had a subscriber ask, I'm coming into a decent, like a good amount of money. Okay. I'm about to be blessed with some money. And I, I feel like I have a lot of broken relationships around me. I hope this subscriber is watching because I did reply and they said in the comment, I'm coming into some money but I have a lot of broken relationships and just things that aren't working out. Should I just go home? Should I try to fix this over here? Or should I just like go somewhere else? Should I just like move and like start over? And I told them to how I replied was, you should follow your heart because these blessings are coming in for you for a reason. And it might not, it, it, these relationships could have all been broken and busted. So you don't give them what is coming in for you, okay? Sometimes God wants to remove all of the bullshit around us so we don't say, hey, here, hey, I'll help you pay that bill or I'll help you with this. You guys have a lot of people pocket watching you. I told you guys this last week in, a, in another download that you guys have people pocket watching you, okay? And they'll take a reconciliation if they feel like they're gonna get even more on the back end. Okay, and because I felt strongly in answering that because I, I deal with that type of stuff all the time, very familiar with it, and I just, no, absolutely not. If people uh, that try to pocket watch me, I'm like, get, get pushed because you don't know me, you don't know my ancestors, and you do not want to find out. You do not want to find out. Um... You guys are being given new tools. And as you guys are being given these new tools, everyone is on the edge of their seat trying to figure out what your next breakthrough is going to be, how big it's going to be, how monumental. I mean, people are pocket watching you. They're social media stalking you. I mean, they're monitoring you in every scenario and every sense of the word. So comment down below, twinkle, twinkle, okay, because you are the star. Twinkle, twinkle, baby, twinkle, twinkle. Sometimes we say sprinkle, sprinkle, but I thought we should say twinkle, twinkle because that could be my thing, okay? That could be mine. Anyways, you guys are getting a whole new tube, a whole new, oh, oh I was gonna say a whole new world and a whole new tool belt at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. So you guys are getting a whole new tool situation. We'll say that, okay? Okay. You guys are going getting a whole new tool situation, okay, because it's Mercury. Mercury, I'm going to blame it. It's in Gatorade. <laughs> you guys are just seeing, like, I, I can build it. I can knock it down. I can fix it. I got new tools. And so it's almost like God is giving you this spiritual inheritance and is saying, I want you to go to the Home Depot and go buy a ton of tools. You guys already know the tools that you need, and you guys have been making it work with the tools that you have. You're like, oh my gosh, I no longer have to like try to do drywall with this little this little jam over here. I already no longer have to freaking try to hang a picture with this little thing over here. All these little doohickeys that you had before, you were making it do what it does, bestie. You were making it do what it does. Now, God, the divine, the creator is saying, Here's a blank check. Go get the tools that you need. So metaphorically, you guys, or, or it actually be physically if you actually need tools, okay? But you guys are being given the spiritual inheritance to say, stand up for yours, cover yours, protect yours, 10 toes down, go get the tools that you want, the tools that you need. Because you've been humble, you've been kind, and you have... You've been grateful, okay? The besties that I'm talking to, 
you are in an echo chamber of gratitude through all the misfortune that you've been through. And there's been a lot. And I hate even saying that because it makes me very emotional, makes me want to cry that you guys are on the verge of this breakthrough, but that it you had to go through all of this to get this certain breakthrough, okay? And I feel like it's going to be really life-changing. I feel like some of you guys are moving. There is unexpected change coming in. And that could have you guys really worried, okay, um, that you know that there's unexpected change. And it will be for your betterment. It will be for good. But it's always nerve-wracking when you know that there's a big change coming and you just don't know what it's going to knock over or if it's going to be bad or if you're going to like it. But I'm seeing that you guys are getting huge upgrades that you will have a lot of pride in that you will get a lot of recognition in so you are being given the proper tools the proper guidance your direction is changing your direction is shifting and the people that are trying to watch and clock everything you do they're like which way are they gonna go I don't know like I just know that they're winning and I gotta like that people don't really want to ride your coattails to the finish line and it's a no it's a never okay what I wrote down is your copycats can't show proof of how they got what they got. Okay, so people in your arena. Now, this could be your 9 to 5, right? This could be your corporate job. This could be your internet job. This could be your social media business. Where, wherever this arena is, right? Call it your sandbox. Wherever this sandbox is, the, you guys have copycats that are trying to emulate what you're doing, but they don't have any proof to back what they're doing. Okay, so bestie, if you were a math equation, everyone's like, oh no, the result is this. Okay, this is the answer. I have a cute little hello. I should get my hello. Hold on. I'm gonna get my Hello Kitty calculator, my celestial calculator and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Look how cute this is. You guys, Amazon. In the kids section of Amazon, okay? I could not believe this was a couple of dollars. I was like, you don't have to tell me twice. But anyways, they're like this, right? And they have this number, right? They have a number here. And so God is like, how'd you get that number? The boss is like, how'd you get that number? They're like, oh, I just got it. They don't have any scratch paper. They don't have any proof. Riddle me what? They just have the result. Okay? So this is what people are doing around you. Now, mind you, <laughs> mind you, this has been you guys. Okay? First, you dealt with things being busted and shattered and broken all over the place, right? And you only had these janky little tools, but you were grateful for these janky little tools. And so what you did with them is you made it do what it does and you pioneered. You showed true grit. You showed this humble nature that you will get through anything that God has you. Okay, your angels have you that God has you. So not only did you guys go through everything being busted, dusted, and crusted, you didn't have a, you didn't have the most to put it back together. So you really had to be creative, and you really had to be grateful for certain setbacks that took place in your life. On top of that, you guys, you guys, you guys, on top of that, look at you, look at you, constantly making it work, disciplining, vigor, strength training, okay? Because ain't no lazy daisy, okay, no uh, petty label going to be in this wagon making it do what it does. They want the result of what you have, okay? So if the result is you crushing it, you making it look so amazing, everyone being like enamored with you or just in love with you or admiring you, they're like, I need that result. So they're trying to figure out your cheat codes. They don't understand the journey, though. They don't understand your test. They don't understand the testimony. That, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, you guys that have been with me for a while, like, you know that they don't understand the test. That's why they don't have the same testimony. They will never get it. So you guys have been 
showing that you have leverage, that you have influence, that you have mastery, okay? This is all about how you have been mastering things. So you've been putting in the sweat. You've been waking up early and staying up late. You guys have been putting in the hours and burning the midnight oil. You guys have been doing everything, everything under the sun to get certain things moving, to get, this would be like missing a wheel on your wagon and you guys figuring out how to get this wagon back up and going. People don't understand. They want to hitch what they got going on to your wagon. They don't have any proof of how they got this number. Okay, this is like carrying around your testimony and there's no proof. There, it, there are no receipts of them actually going through that, going through that journey. Um, there is no scratch paper. There is no structure. They couldn't teach it. Okay, so that's another thing too. Your copycats, they couldn't teach it. They can't conquer. They can't gain any leverage. They can't have a commanding presence because they are trying to emulate what you're doing. And you guys learned this skill over time. I mean, through thick, thin trial, error, setbacks, towers, mad upheavals. That's why you guys have a an incredible testimony. I want you guys to affirm it below. I have an incredible testimony and I'm damn proud. I have an incredible testimony and I am damn proud. Capiche? So these people are like, um, yeah. So, and people are like, oh my gosh, can you teach me what you did? Show me the way. And you're like, well, I just got this number, you guys. So just do it. They can't teach it. They can't be a tutor. They can't be a mentor. They can't be a cosmic advisor. They can't even be a spiritual cheerleader. Not properly. So people, you guys are realizing that you don't tap out. Other people tap out. Affirm it below. I don't tap out. Other people tap out. They're only pe the, the people around you in your arena, they can only handle your pace for 10, maybe 20 minutes. Okay? I really want you guys to like sit and let that marinate for a minute. People can only handle your pace for 10 to 20 minutes. Think about if you were on a leave of absence at work and one of the most jealous coworkers you have thinks that like, oh, this is my opportunity to shine. This is my opportunity to take their job, to take their promotion, to show everybody what I got. Yeah. You know they can't handle it. You know they're breaking a sweat. You know they're cursing people out. You know that they're, they're in the back losing their biscuits. Okay. And people cannot handle what you actually do, not for more than 20 minutes. You guys can do it hours on end. Affirm it below. I run figure eights. This is my orchestra. This is my symphony. Okay. I run figure eights. Figure eights. And this is my symphony. This is my orchestra. You know what they're doing? They're doing like a... Um, like a three, no, is that a four, four? They're just doing, they're, they're taking shortcuts. Okay. They're doing like a three, three. They're doing like a four, four. They're not doing eights. You feel me? You know what the number eight is? Saturn. Okay. They ain't got Saturn anywhere near in sight. And that's the thing. These people, they cannot handle how God will bring mastery into your life. That's why you're getting this, this whole new blank, you know, spiritual blank check inheritance type of th situation because you're getting new tools and you deserve them. You've been working with less for a long time, okay? This is like working in the heat, no air conditioning, just making it do what it does. And these people are just like, they don't like when Saturn's around. The reason why you guys go through what you go through is because everything you do is going to have longevity. I want that to sink in, okay? The eights, the figure eights that you be running, okay, you guys could be a life path eight. You guys could be seeing eight, zero, eight, eight, one, eight. Um, you guys could be in Hawaii because I know that's the, um, I'm Hawaiian. So I know that is the 
zip code. No, area code, 808. And there's something about the, the presence of the number eight and tying into the things that you guys have been through. And it's just in lockstep because the Saturn energy has been your worst nightmare. You feel like you got a Saturn's return every other month. Okay, some people just get a Saturn's return, you know, twice in a lifetime. You feel like you're getting it once a month. Okay, like a you know what cycle. You're like, again, this ish is here again. But it's because, bestie, you are, um, or I was going to say life path nine too, because I have a lot of nines here. But there's something about the number eight that shows that you can handle the Saturn energy like nobody else. Like nobody else, because when you were ha handed these rotten lemons, when you were hand handed all of these things that are crazy, you guys turn it into sunshine. You turn it into a legacy. You turn it into authority. You turn it into authenticity. You turn it into courage. You turn it into all of these beautiful things. And these people, they're just like, well, this is the answer. I can't, you know. So this is like somebody thinking that they could take your position they only make it in your shoes for 20 minutes, right? And they're just like, well, whatever. I didn't really want it anyways. And they just want the amount of money that you're making. They want the amount of attention that you're getting, but they don't know how to actually get it. Okay? They don't know how to actually get it. These copycats cannot show proof of how they got what they got, their results. And you guys even have some people trying to lie about the results that they got, okay? They're like, oh, yeah, I made that much too. I got that much in sales. Oh, yeah, I made that much in revenue. You're like, you did? Hmm. Because to me, it sounds like all of my clients complained. It seems like all of my customers were on, on like, pissed off. So I'm a little confused on how you got that number. But okay, girl. Okay, boy. Their results are coming out backwards, and this is what they're trying to cover up, okay? But you guys will see you guys will see it clearly, okay? Their results are coming in backwards. Oh, no, my hair is doing what's bothering me. Um, their results are coming in backwards. So this number I typed in randomly, 6339, their numbers, their numbers are backwards, and they're like, I don't know what, I don't know what I did to the calculator. It must, they're blaming the calculator. They're blaming the client to the left. They're like, they must have done something, cause like, I swear, I had that, I had that number. I had the same number too. Yeah, I did. And they're like, their shit is all backwards. It's all fucked up. <laughs> okay, it's all left up. So, their results are coming out backwards. Some of them are showing you that. Some of this is showing you that these are friends that you can't really be friends with because they cannot like you and hate you at the same time. At the same time. I don't know why I keep saying that. At the same time. Okay. They cannot say it behind the scenes. Like, I hate them. I want to be like them. I want to look like them. I want to. I want all the things that they have. They cannot hate you like that. And then be like, I love you. I like you. Like, you got to have a deep respect. There ain't no deep respect there. Because a deep respect would be, you know, this really inspires me that you do it. That you do this this way. Um, are there any tips that you can give me? Or do you think that, like, you can help me or mentor me or, like, advise me on the side? That's what a deep respect is. Is acknowledging, hey, I really like the way that you did this. And even telling others where they learned it from, okay? So, like, when I do something and it could be an, an inspiration of somebody else's, if I know the person, especially, I'm going to say, I love that you did this. Like, how'd you do that? Or, I loved how you did this. And I, I tried to do the same. I probably don't look the same. But I just admire, I really admire what you do. Or, at least saying who you're trying to, who you're inspired by. That is a deep respect. That ain't being reciprocated right now. <laughs> but don't worry, bestie, you're totally fine with it, okay? Everything is changing. You guys are starting to see that anything could happen. Anything could happen. But you know that you are divinely protected. 
there are a lot of people right now that are going to have to to pay the piper okay they've been so busy pocket watching you trying to clock what you're doing trying to map out what you're doing that they're like realizing that their math ain't mathing they're like yeah um let's see two plus two equals eight yeah yeah their math is not mathing I'm hearing reverse, reverse. Everybody clap your hands. Like your enemies are going in reverse. Your peers are going in reverse. And you're just like, bye. <laughs> like trying to be nice, but it's time for your life to bear fruit. You feel me? It is time for your life to bear fruit. No more sour bugs all in it. Parasitic vibes. No, 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 no. No, we got zero tolerance for the BS. Zero. None. None. You guys are realizing I have free will. God's got me. I am. Um, thank you, Empress, for being a member of five months. They are realizing that it's time, that the time is up and time to accept the facts. I'm seeing it daily lately. Oh my gosh, Empress, thank you for saying that. Okay, so first of all, thank you again for being a member of five months. I appreciate you so much. I want to read what you said again. They are all realizing that it's, that time is up. They're like, oh, they're like, the test is over. And everyone's like, you got to plot your answers. You got you to turn your, your answers in. And they're like, because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. And they have to accept the facts. People have to accept the facts of who you are, that they cannot beat you, that they cannot join you, that you will officially crush it anytime you see fit. Okay, affirm it below. I will officially crush it anytime I see fit. Figure eight, okay? And Empress says, I'm seeing it daily, lately. That is what I'm saying. If you guys are chosen, you are seeing it all over the place. You're like, oh my gosh, like these people too? Oh my gosh, them too? You're just like, how many people are mad at me? I don't understand. How many people cannot accept the facts of, that you are who you are. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Anastasia King. Thank you for your donation. Yeah. Yes, Ray. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> That's so them. That's so them. Uh, yes, Chantel. Zero tolerance for the BS. They're just seeing like, well, dang. I, like, it's like. Everyone doing a line dance, right? Everyone doing a dance and them trying to pretend that they, this one video that they made doing all the steps that they knew. They had somebody in front of them being like, you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to do this. And like, you know, then you got to clap your hands. And they're like, yeah, I did that. But they can't show how they got there because they cheated. Okay. They could have had three people in front of the and the camera like, okay, we're going to make this video. It's going to go viral. You just got to do this dance like this. And they got through it, but they cannot prove or show how they got through it. Okay, they cannot prove or show how they got through it. Bestie, you guys have been seeing all of this stuff left and right. It is time for things to unfold smoothly for you. It is time for things. Hold on. Where are we at on time? We're at 46 minutes. Okay, let me try to get through this because I'm about to have an interruption. Okay, so people wanted to jack the codes and the formula and the sauce and it's backfiring. You guys are doing an incredible amount of work. You cannot be replicated, okay? And I love that for you guys. You cannot be replicated. Sound the trumpet. I forgot that I was only supposed to be on here for a little bit. I always be running over because I get excited. I get excited, okay? And I forgot that, remember how I told you guys I have time constraints all week and just make sure your notifications are on? Surprise! Again, okay? You are crushing the wicked. You are the twist in the tail. You are an angel, duh. There are people seeing that you are officially the great mentalist, that you are quick-witted, that you are cold when you need to be. 
They're also seeing that you have an intuition unlike others. You guys are also going to be celebrated. There is going to be some type of ceremony or where you're going to go out and actually celebrate what you have accomplished. You're actually going to say, you know what? That was crazy what we just went through. That was crazy what I just went through. And now I'm exhausted. And I am so grateful that I made it out of that, that I want to make sure I celebrate it. And maybe that's not normally you guys, okay? Maybe normally you're like, I'm not going to celebrate. I'm not going to go on vacation. I'm not going to, you know, do anything crazy because what's the point? You know what I mean? Thank you, Empress. So you guys are just seeing that there were a lot of people that weren't really clapping for you, that weren't really happy for you. Sorry, I'm just like moving things out of the way. Um, and they're just seeing like, oh, well, dang, they're really going to celebrate. People can tell that you are on the verge of an actual breakthrough. Like they can tell. They're just like, well, I guess I'm not going to that party. And you're not doing it to like be mean or anything. It's because you guys have to be private. You have to do things a certain way because you have to. You have to do that for your protection. And so you're seeing all types of rejection that you are being slung into right now, unfortunately. That, that is showing you. Well, dang, there's nothing I can really do. This is for my protection. I would have loved to have been friends with them. I would have loved to have been friends with them. But everyone has their own journey, okay? And everyone has their own path. You guys are noticing the re another reason why everyone was getting removed. Thank you, Empress, for your donation. Straight facts. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a lot of generosity, and you are humanitarian, you guys, um, you guys do things for, for people that are in need because you have been in need. Okay. You have been in that position where you have been in need. And so when other people are hurting or suffering, you have this deep desire to alleviate that pain and that suffering where you're just like, well, I don't want to see them suffer. Like, let me help them. And that is why you are pure of heart. That is why you are being blessed the way that you are. And that's why people around you have to really, they have to really not be around, unfortunately, because even if they had done you dirty and done a, a bunch of terrible things, it would actually just kind of not only be the wrong thing to do to pay it forward to certain people, but kind of put a target on you to have more people monitoring you. Does that make sense? And so what you guys have coming in right now is a calm life. There's been a lot of upheavals, a lot of setbacks, a lot of crazy things happening. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm finally going to have this calm life. I can't wait. God wants to make sure that you do not have certain benefactors around you right now. Okay, I'm going to say that again. God wants to make sure that you do not have certain benefactors around. You guys show a lot of compassion. Your communication style is changing. You guys are getting ready to graduate. Okay. I just keep getting a lot about moving and security. So if you guys aren't moving, you're just about to have more security. Okay, because I know a lot of people who wants to move. Nobody, but a lot of you guys could be feeling like it's time to go. Um, there could have been a certain amount of events that unfolded where you are seeing, okay, it's time to go. Okay, you guys could have your bags packed because you deserve to have security. You deserve to have to feel like you belong. You deserve to be established. You deserve to have longevity. You deserve to have your heart's desire. And so you're like, well, if I got to move, then, then that's what it is. Okay. You're like, if I got to move, then that's what it is. So you are tapping into your heart's desire. And 
so you're seeing like there's just like a couple more hiccups before the last little hiccup. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, I just have, you know when you like, Jerry, thank you, Gray, thank you. Um, hold on. So you guys are going to be, thank you, Gray. Thank you, Jerry, for your donations. Thank you, guys. You know when you're like, you got to like, you have company or like, you got to like deal with people, but you're not dressed appropriately. <laughs> I was like, I booty shorts on. Let me, let me fix that. Let me fix that. So thank you guys for waiting while I put my sweatpants on really quick because it's just, you know, got to be appropriate. You feel me? Gotta be appropriate. Yes, Gray, I don't tap out. You do not tap out. Okay? So, you guys are starting to see that, yeah, there are copycats in the mix. There are people that were allegedly supporting you this whole time. And they only wanted to put themselves on. Okay? So, I'm gonna say that again. There were people that you thought were your peers. You're like, oh, we're all in this arena. It's been pretty patty cake. It's been pretty neutral. It's been pretty, you know, easy. There's been nothing crazy unfolding in that arena for some of you guys. But I'm getting that's for social media specifically. You guys have people that came in and they could not beat you. So they tried to join you. And then in that, they're like, well... I think I can, I think I can ride their coattails and, and, and sneak in there and do whatever. And it's the reason why I don't, I don't have a lot of moderators. Okay. Because stuff like that was happening. And it's the reason why I, one of my community guidelines is not to plug whatever you're trying to plug. I do not accept spam because I get my messages from God. Okay, so I'm not, if God doesn't want me putting somebody on, I'm not doing that. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Not on my, not what I run as a business. Okay, so you wouldn't, it's like soliciting. Okay, like I have a sign on my door. It says, smile, you're on camera. No soliciting. Have a nice day. Okay, so I'm going to say that again. I have a, a thing on my door. It says, smile, you're on camera. No soliciting. Have a nice day. This is like people trying to come in and solicit on in your place of business or in your home. And you're like, I said what I said when I said it. You're not going to let people do that. Okay, so it's kind of like a respect thing. And then on top of that, it's like you don't really know these people like that. So if I feel guided I will do certain things. If I feel guided to give, I give. If, it, if I feel guided to donate, I donate. If I feel guided to pay it forward, I pay it forward. But I used to be the type of person that did that all the time, just for whoever. And so God really had to put me in check. Like, no, 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 no. You don't let people spit on and chew on and nibble and gnaw your blessings I just gave you. They are not supposed to be the benefactors. What are you doing? And so I can see when people in my comments, miss the message completely. They're not even listening. And they're trying to, 
just do whatever. And it's just, it's very unfortunate, but it's the season that we're in. So it's just like Empress said, is I'm seeing it daily. You're seeing it daily. You're seeing it in public. You're seeing it play out on social media. You're seeing it play out your, at your nine to five that you can no longer just give to whoever you want to give to. Okay. Old me. Okay. Old me. When I first started, I would, I would try to do all of these things. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I made a friend today on social media. So I'm going to share their social media and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this. I got such, he I went through a whole year of that. Okay. I went through a whole year of being taken adv advantage of by other content creators. I got, I had a whole year of being taken advantage of by other people that thought I was going to rise or, or they thought I was going to go viral. So they wanted to hurry up and collaborate with me. I stopped doing collaborations full stop. I changed my community guidelines. I did a whole bunch of things to make sure I was listening to what, how I was being guided. Cause I was like, Oh, I can't do that. And it was painful. It was a very painful lesson. There were other content creators that I, I really was excited to work with and to do videos with. And then it, it ended up being that they just wanted me to pump. They wanted me to sell their product. Okay. I had one creator that had sought me out. And now I see that this person also seeks out others to do the same thing. And I felt really dumb that I had been like a notch on the belt. So this person reached out to me. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, thank you. And I'm like new and starting out. I don't know what the frick I'm doing. And they're like, yeah, let's be friends. And I'm like, okay, like let's do a collaboration. I'm like, okay. And then when I'm your friend, I go hard for you. And God knows my heart. God knows that when I have a friend or when I connect with you guys, I go hard for you, but I have to listen to how that is prompted. Okay, sometimes I'll share your guys' stuff in the community tab. Some guy, uh, some, like when I'm guided. Okay, sometimes I do it just on Patreon. Sometimes I do it just on members only to protect the privacy. That is another thing too. Like I'm guided for more than one reason. So I'm just giving you guys examples. I am guided that way to protect the privacy of the person that I'm friends with because I have my boundaries up. Because I don't let people run amok right? What they do is the trolls, they see that they can't penetrate my wall of protection. I'm not, I'm not having it. Zero tolerance, zero, you know, what's given. So they go to the person that I, that I'm buddies with and they start harassing them, sending them spiritual warfare, sending them spiritual attacks. So sometimes I only share those other things on a smaller platform because I do not want my friends being attacked because they're my friend. So that's another reason God's like, this is not only for your protection, but for the protection of those that you love. Okay. So think about that. When somebody can't attack you, they're going to try to attack your person. They're going to try to attack your children. They're going to keep attacking until they find the weakest link. And I have friends on here on this social media platform where they were attacked with me for an entire year or an entire six months for some of them. And so I try to really guard their privacy because I don't want that. I don't want them being trolled and spammed and unsolicited and all these other things. But yeah, when I was dealing with another YouTuber that just wanted me to pump out their product and, and basically sponsor them or to be sponsored by them without really, I mean, there was some compensation, but not really getting paid. You know what I mean? So... It's just kind of, it's just kind of unfortunate that I had to like change my guidelines because you guys are seeing that you are very giving, okay? You're just like, oh my gosh, yeah, you can have that. So that's what I did. My whole first year, I was, I just wanted friends and, you know, friends in the 3D is sometimes really hard to do or hard to make. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have friends in the spiritual community. I'm so excited. And I'm like, went all the way left went all the way left. So now I have a couple friends and I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. Like I'm very grateful to, um, star girl, Anita Serene. I'm so grateful for her shouting me out, um, that she watches my channel that like made my entire year. I really look up to her and I'm just grateful for any of your guys's love and support. 
and grateful that you guys understand these messages and that you need to hear them and that they help you. That means a lot to me. You had to sacrifice um, who you've had to become for who you are now. Yeah, you guys, this is a lot about cheat codes. There are people trying to take shortcuts, right? And they don't they don't want to go through the test. I literally got a confirmation as I was doing the figure eights. Like we just talked about that. There are people that are not willing to do the figure eights. You guys know if you some of you guys don't know. I've been on YouTube for a while. Like I have gone through a lot of Saturn energy. I've gone through a lot of trials. I've gone through a lot of tribulations because I had to create the longevity. Some people are fortunate enough to go viral. That was not going to be the case for me. Okay. I had my first year on YouTube was like a marriage. It was so, it's like, the, you know, the first year of marriage is like turbulent and hard and it's supposed to like help you strengthen the bond, but it's like crazy upheavals and it's hard. That was my first year on YouTube. I dealt with attacks and not knowing what I was doing and people wanting to collaborate, but really just wanting to like knife me and like it was hard. So that was year one. Okay. And I'm not making any money. Right. So like year one, I'm not even monetized. I'm like, these people are coming for my jugular and I'm not even monetized yet. What? So then year two, I finally get monetized but I'm not making much. <laughs> I'm working doubles. I'm working two jobs on top of this job. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get it up out of the mud. I'm trying to get it up out of the mud. Then I get into year three. I finally start making like a decent amount where I don't have to work the two extra jobs on top of this job. So for me, it's been a climb year to year. This is year going on. We're going on year four. Okay. So like I'm going on year two. No. Yeah. I'm going on year two where I'm like, okay, I get it. I got it. I get it. I got it. So to me, like, I don't really count the first two years, but I've been on here for almost four years. So people that want to skip all of these steps and plug their stuff on my platform or in my live stream or in my comments, I will never allow it. I will never allow it. A, because of the two years I went through before the two years I got it. Second, because I listen when I am guided. That's how I get my messages. And three, because I have to know who the benefactors are supposed to be. I do not let people solicit on my channel. Ever. Ever. So what you guys are going to be seeing is the fake supporters. Oh, I've been supporting you whole time. Will you do this? Oh, I've been supporting you for so long. Will you do that? Or not even asking you, just trying it. All of my stuff here is on heavy restrictions. Okay, it's on heavy restrictions because they finally made things stricter on this platform, which I'm so grateful for because I can block out certain things from even taking place before even having a moderator on here. It can be blocked out so it doesn't even happen. So when somebody tries to plug anything, it will get flagged and it'll show me this person's trying to do this. Oh, okay, block because they're just making it easier for the creator to protect themselves. You guys are learning how to protect yourself and people are going to get really mad that you're doing it. Okay, people are going to get really mad that you have boundaries right now. You are going to be seeing that daily. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, all I'm doing is protecting mine, protecting the years and years of work. Like for me, I'm protecting my four years, okay? I am protecting the four years that I've been here and I'm working towards that. So like, who's just going to come up on here and skip seven steps and not even say hello, okay? I think that's really rude when people are just like, I wouldn't go on Anita's Serene, I wouldn't go on Anita's Serene page, okay? Say she was in a live stream or Tyler Tarot and then I wouldn't just go into that live stream and say, hey guys, follow my channel. I, I'm just, 
if anything to me, it's like more hurtful because I'm like, wow, thanks. Like, thought you were a real one. Okay, cool. I just, you guys are really going to start seeing. Oh, this is two decks. You guys are really going to start seeing that there are a lot of phony balonies that just don't really like you like that. People that you could have liked. Okay. I get bummed out. I'm bummed right now. Somebody I liked just did that. I'm like, Oh, okay. That's cool. <clears throat> you guys didn't see it because it flagged it. Okay, you guys didn't see it because it flagged it for me to see to get rid of. And I'm like, wow. Okay, cool. So people that you are really familiar with, people that you are that you are acquainted with. That's what I mean, you guys. People that you are acquainted with are finding out who you really are. Like, maybe that person thought, well, Brittany's cool. Like, she's not going to care that I'm doing this. But it flagged it because it is a guideline on my channel. Okay? Or she won't care. Or she's so busy, she's not going to notice. It, it doesn't matter. It's not coming with the respect. It's, it's, you know what I mean? So I want you guys to be aware of who you are being shown that cannot be happy for you. I am not ever going to try to block anyone from rising or say like, oh, you can't have a channel. Or you can't have a platform. Only I can. I'm ne no. And if you guys, anybody that's on here that thinks that I'm like that, they don't belong here. Okay. Anybody that's on here that thinks that I would do that, it does not belong here. I just have to be very specific. Because there's a lot of jealousy around that, okay? Say I go to support one subscriber and I try to go hard for them. Then that subscriber starts getting attacked. Because they're like, well, I can't attack Brittany, but I can attack that subscriber that she really likes. So it's like not only for my protection, it's also for your guys' protection. Yes, haters tell on themselves, okay? Some people are doing some very strange things right now. It, it The things that are being done in the dark are coming to light. I want you guys to affirm it below. The things that are being done in the dark are coming to light. You are the galactic truth serum. I am literally hearing a helicopter and a bike at the same time. At the same time. So these people um, are seeing like, oh, it's hitting the fan. They, they built up all of this rapport. Okay, that's a good way to say it. There's people that felt like they built up a really good rapport with you to where they thought they could take advantage and then they're finding out that they really can't do that. And I feel like whenever I give these messages, it it brings that out. Whoever is meant to tell on themselves for certain messages, for certain downloads, for certain things that are channeled, it, it's like, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about people with a disrespect. We're talking about people not being benefactors. And then you have somebody doing the very thing that's in the title. Okay. Or doing the very thing that, that is being discussed. So you know that they're not here for what is actually going on. They're not here to engage. They're here to make the fruit go berserk. They're here to make the fruit be spoiled and rot. <gasps> Look, you guys, that fell on my lap. Y'all figured it out, okay? Maybe there were some people that you'd built a rapport with and you were like, you know what, something, something, I don't know what it is. You're like, I'm not going to judge them, but I just, I'm going to wait. You guys had like this premonition of something sus. And so you just waited and you just waited and you just waited. And now you're seeing you were right. You were right. These people could be using children as manipulation. They could be trying to say like, oh, well, I did that because I have little Johnny and little Johnny needs new shoes. So that's why I did that. Mm -hmm. You guys do not feel bad for putting yourself back together. Do not feel bad for putting yourself back together. You will know who really has your back. Who really has your back wouldn't have to do that. They wouldn't do any of these things that are sneaky or malicious. They wouldn't do anything like that. 
they would just be like, oh, you know, I was thinking, like they would discuss things with you first. Okay, people that ride for you, they're going to discuss things like, hey, I was thinking about, and then you're going to pray on it. A lot of you guys are going to seek counsel. You're going to seek guidance. For me, it's kind of like when I tell you guys ancestors said, okay? It's like when you're a kid and the street lights go out and you know you have to go inside before you get yelled at. It's like ancestors said, go inside. Mom said, go inside. Because you can't just do whatever for whoever the heck because you know that you have to seek guidance first. Getting closer. I told you guys, there's people like, oh no, I'm close with them, so I can do that. I can do that. I'm going to try it right now. They are getting clocked as they are clocking you. I'm going to say that again. They are getting clocked as they are clocking you. It's very unfortunate. Like, it's just sad. Somebody could be doing things because they've lost employment or they've lost money. And this is something that I really want you guys to think about. When people lose security, when they lose finances, when they lose money, when they lose things in general, it really shifts the game of how you deal with them. You are really going to see how somebody maneuvers when they lose it all. When they are going through financial issues, when they are going through strife, when they are going through struggle. Just like how I tell you guys, in a funeral or a wedding, you're going to see who people really are. The same thing with financial struggle, okay? You are going to see somebody either be humbled and learn from it, or you're going to see them really try to just victimize that and be like, well, this is why I did it. And because they've been demoted and they're making this your problem. So maybe when you guys first met these people, you were keeping it very humble and you were very nice and they were very like, I'm balling, I'm uppity, I'm flexing on this, on that, on this, on that. And you're just like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. You are seeing who people really are right now. You are paying attention. Okay, people are officially meeting who you are. What did I say earlier? People are officially finding out who you are. They are officially believing it. Okay? They just wanted to think like you were too busy. You couldn't pick up the phone. Like, no. They're seeing that it is official that you are actually loving yourself. It is official that you are putting yourself back together. It is official that you are serious about what you're doing. You guys affirm it below. Twinkle, twinkle. I'm serious about what I'm doing. I am for serious. Thank you, guys. You guys are silly. So, oh my gosh, I didn't even read the last part of the download. Okay. People want to jack your codes, your formula, your sauce, and it's backfiring. You guys are doing an incredible amount of work that cannot be replicated. Affirm it below. I am doing an incredible amount of work that cannot be replicated. People want, they're like, oh, what's the code for that? Tell me the code. You're like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, They're like, give me the formula. You're like, I can't do that. Let me see your scratch paper. You're like, I can't do that. They're like, well, what's in your sauce? You're like, I can't tell you that. And they're like, so all of the things are trying to figure out, it's backfiring. And you're not even going to be like, ha. You're just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are doing an incredible amount of work. Like, think about it. I couldn't even re-replicate the four years work work that I've done and I'm me okay I can't even re-replicate re the four years of work that I've done and I'm me so how are these people going to do it
you know? People want you to be like this. It's backfiring. You are doing an incredible amount of work that cannot even be replicated. You can't even re-replicate it. That's why God shifts your creativity and your power. And that's why you guys are always evolving. And it's always happening really fast. Because you couldn't even replicate it if you tried. So people are like, they really notice that about you. You're never like really going backwards. You're always just changing it up, trying to make it better. You're never trying to like go back to something that didn't work. You know what I mean? Did you guys see it? Did you did you see that? Did, did you see that? This is this is what it is, guys. Hello. So why does she have blood on her mouth? Like, ew. Are you a vampire or what? Are you like You guys, comment down below, Alexa, play how you like me now. How you like me now. Okay, play Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Be humble. Sit down. <laughs> okay, be humble. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. You guys see everything. You guys see everything. You're like, this was going to be toxic. I just knew it. But you didn't want to judge these people. And now you're starting to see. Okay, I gotta watch my back. Okay, cool. Cool. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Okay, let me get. Let's get you guys advice. And then I'm going to hop out of here. Again, Patreon. If you guys are just joining you guys. Um, anyone on Patreon, you guys have a new video that will be posted within the next 48 hours, okay? So today is Saturday. It'll be up Sunday or Monday, okay? So if you guys are on Patreon, I will post in the community tab, okay? If you don't see your, if you guys don't see your notifications, you guys will see it on um, the community tab. I always post in the community tab when a new video is live okay patreon is no longer on a uh schedule they get four uploads ad free that they vote on a month but there's no schedule there's just four that get uploaded but i try to give you guys a heads up if you guys are in the live stream like oh okay i know that it's gonna get posted soon i knew this card was gonna pop out and this is a newer deck i don't use very often brilliance this is you guys okay so we have you discover your own genius by breaking away from the grind to follow your own inspiration your ideas bring recognition i don't even want another card i mean i kind of do but i don't okay let me just see if i can get like one more okay in the flow oh can i have one more Okay, we have watch your expenses and continue to save up. Okay, some of you guys could be doing the you know what's. It's that time of the year in the States for the you know what's. I don't know what time other countries be doing it, but you know what season just ended. You guys could be paying those. Okay, you guys could be paying those, Uncle Sam. Okay, you guys could be paying Uncle Sam and you're like, so basically, I feel like a lot of you guys are doing better, a lot better than you used to. And so you're seeing like, oh, well, before, if I had to pay that, I would be like, <laughs> I'll wait. Can I have a payment plan, please? <laughs> okay, payment plan. And now you guys are like, oh, I'm just going to pay it. So this is what you guys are doing. You're being smart with money. I feel like it's a confirmation that you guys are being smart with money, smarter than you would normally be. Maybe when you guys be busting your your bottom you're like I've been working so hard that I cannot wait to spend this but you're starting to see like okay well the economy ain't moving so great and money ain't you know what it used to be so what you guys are starting to do is making sure that like you're going to be okay because maybe you want to actually be a millionaire but not be flashy like one which I think is really important 
Because what happens when people start making more money normally, I'm not saying that you guys are doing this, but what happens when people start making more money is they start spending more money. And so you guys are seeing like, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you've done that in the past and you're like, I'm not doing that now. Um, thank you, Web3 Tribe. You are just what I needed today. Thank you. You're so welcome. So you guys are like, okay, I'm seeing that like that did not serve me in the past. And I don't, you really want a safety net and a safety net and a safety net. So these are the things that you're working on is having enough security for multiple safety nets, right? Then we have in the flow. The universe is sending you help. Tap into your inner power and go deeper to create that pur purposeful life you really want to have. So see this? People are getting stung. They're like, oh my gosh, I thought I was your friend. Why are you stinging me? You're like, the universe did it. I don't know who did that. The universe did it. And so the universe is here helping you, showing you, hey, they're a hater. They're a Decepticon. That ain't your friend. Look what they just did. The disrespect on that one. Like, tap into your inner flow and go deeper, okay? All, a lot of these distractions you have zero tolerance for because you are trying to go deeper, okay? You are going ham. You're going hard in the paint. Because you're like, I'm not trying to get you stung. But if you come with the disrespect, I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. Okay? I just don't know. I feel like the bugs are going crazy outside because um, I had, I got tired of pulling weeds. And I was like, okay, I need to spray these weeds. I think the bugs are mad at me. I think the bugs are like, why are you spraying this out here? You're freaking crazy. And it's like, I, a bitch I might be. Okay, you know that song, Is You Rollin', Bitch, I Might Be. Okay, anyways, this card, your most important card, is about you guys being a creative genius. And I love this card. I love this card for you. You discover your own genius by breaking away, okay? I read it for you guys once, but just to finish it out, you discover your own genius by breaking away from the grind to follow your own inspiration. Your ideas bring recognition. I embrace you're funny. I'm feeling like Dory today. Like, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Yeah. People don't want you to find the outlet. They know, like, you got stuff going on. You're being all quiet. They're like, what, what, what are they doing, though? And you're like, you're literally in the dark, bestie. Like, where is the plug? Where's the plug? I'm plugging in my genius. I'm, I'm going to get recognition. I'm going to live the life that I deserve. I'm going to be create, creative. That's another thing I'm getting for you guys, that you guys are really learning how to express yourself creatively. Mm-hmm. So you're just taking the, the punches as they come, okay? But you're not tapping out. Affirm it below, twinkle, twinkle. I don't tap out. I don't tap out. No tapping out here. Nope. You guys are starting to see that you can get it up out of the mud at any point. You guys are the type of person that could have like no sleep, right? You could have had a couple rough nights and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to go to work. There's no way I'm going to make it through the, through the day. And this is what you're telling yourself. You're like, okay, this happened and I had to take care of it. Like there were all these fires that you guys had to put out. And so you're really worried and concerned, like, how am I going to handle work today without feeling like a basket case and knowing that, like, you're sleep deprived? And I know that a lot of you guys that deal with spiritual warfare, you deal with sleep deprivation all the time and burning the midnight oil and <clears throat> canceling, rebuking, denouncing, and then also being in your purpose. So you guys are kind of used to it, but you know that you don't like working in that. But because you've dealt with, this strict structure, this discipline that you didn't always have, this Saturn vibe teaching you these hard lessons, this is why it has longevity. This is why you will have security. This is why you will have a happy home. You will have this happy home because like 
you can do this without even, like, you realize, like, well, dang, I had no sleep that day, and I did well at work. It's because you're being blessed for having a, a fighting spirit. So from it below, I am being blessed for having a fighting spirit. Yep. Yes, I am. And so people are, are starting to see like, well, damn. Okay. How'd they do that on no sleep? Because you have a fighting spirit. Okay. Me, three years ago, I probably couldn't. I probably couldn't even channel a download or get a download on not a lot of sleep. I can now. Okay, I can now, but before, like, so there's just this tolerance that you've built up and this resilience that you, that you've built up. So you guys affirm down below, I get it up out of the mud, 10 toes down. Okay, I stand on business, 10 toes down, twinkle, twinkle. See? I had no sleep. Thea says, I had no sleep and helped my abusive grandmother move. Everyone else completely avoided it. Yeah. You know what? People that be avoiding things when everyone is moving, watch out for them. I I hate that. I hate when it's like time to move and like you, no, one, no one can be found. Or <coughs> they're so bad at moving, you don't want to ask them. They're like looking at the one box for like 10 days. They're like... You're like, what are you doing? Put the box on the truck. They're like, nah, nah, nah. I gotta look at it. What? <laughs> okay. So you guys remain calm. You guys are seeing because you are humanitarian. Okay. Because you are very giving, because you have a lot of generosity, because you have a lot of compassion, because it is in your nature to alleviate the suffering of others. You guys can have narcissistic parents, okay? Kind of like me, to where you know how to alleviate some suffering, but doesn't mean you should or you have to or you should want to. Or, you know what I mean? You shouldn't have to all the time. But you guys are you guys have compassion in that way because if you've had compassion for your toxic parent, if you've had compassion for your toxic family members, you are like, well, if I alleviated their suffering, they'd sure treat me a lot better. They might treat themselves a lot better. They might treat everybody a lot better. And because you guys have that in your DNA, okay, alleviating the suffering of others is in your DNA. And you do this and activate that daily. And you guys are getting better with your creative expression, even on your worst day when you've had no sleep. That's going to blow you away. Okay, that's going to show you that over time, you've been doing a lot. I literally wrote it down. You've been doing an incredible amount of work. That's why you're getting new tools. That's why you're getting a spiritual inheritance because you have been doing an incredible amount of work. You haven't been lazy, okay? And people are like, I want that sauce. I want that code. I want those results. How do I get it? And that is why your communication has boundaries, Okay, so like for me, I could easily let there be no restrictions on the live stream. A, I want to make the job easier for me. I want to make the job easier for my moderators. And I want for the people that actually support this platform to be able to connect with each other and for us all to have a good time. But that won't happen with anybody that's coming in here to be a bot or to troll or to spam or that's just like on the wrong channel um, scrolling through gaming channels, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I could easily let everything come through the chat, but what would the quality be? The quality wouldn't be good. And so you are really changing the way that you communicate, whether it hurts people's feelings or not. You're like, I'm not trying to hurt their feelings. I'm just trying to protect myself. You know, I love you too, Thomas. So yeah, it's just, oh, thank you 
guys for all the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Um, well, I thought I was going to have an interruption, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, I hear a four-wheeler. It's a nice atmosphere here, thanks. We really got the best collective, yes. I just feel like, yeah, I could easily let everyone come in here and get riled up and... And then you wouldn't be able to read the messages. You wouldn't be able to even know what somebody else is saying. And it would just be a lot of chaos. And so I think it's great incentive to be a part of this community. I feel like you guys are one of the most positive collectives. I feel very, very grateful for that. And so you guys are being rewarded for being brilliant, for being noble. And for once, bestie, for once, you are actually going to celebrate it. I know you're normally like, no, you know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, it's okay. Like you might be like, oh, I don't need a plaque or I don't, I, I don't need a trophy or I don't. And whatever you went through, you're going to be like, <clears throat> I'll have that trophy made. I'll be going on that vacation because whatever you are been, whatever you've been going through, it has been a lot. Okay. I'm going to say that again. You guys, whatever you've been going through, it's been hard on you. And I will get emotional. I, I keep trying to get there, but not get there too much because I know I'll start crying. I've already cried in the last two live streams, okay? Because you guys are going through it and I just want to lift that off of you knowing that I can't, you know what I mean? Like knowing that some of my besties, my family, my soul tribe is going through it and I can't really, I mean, I shouldn't say that because I have this platform and I am able to help you guys, but you know what I mean? Like I can't make it go away right now. You know what I mean? And that just hurts me. It's kind of like when you see a loved one struggling, like you don't want to see your kids in pain. You don't want to see your loved ones in pain. You guys are going to be leaving the nest, okay? There's some type of nest that you're leaving. And as I'm saying that, there are birds going berserk up here, okay? You guys are leaving the nest. I don't know what that nest is. I don't know if you guys are leaving a job, leaving a neighborhood, leaving a state, leaving a country. There's something that you're like, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to leave that over there, okay? Maybe it's a way of doing something. Maybe you're kind of like, you know, me putting this person on a pedestal doesn't work anymore. And so I'm going to leave that over there. You guys can comment down below what you want to leave behind. Like you guys are flying the nest. What you're flying the coop, you're, you're leaving the nest. What are you leaving behind? If you guys feel like sharing it, you don't have to. Um, but there is something really important. I feel specifically like it's a communication style. You guys are, might not like authority, but you try to be respectful to authority. Does that make sense? But maybe there are certain authority figures that maybe need to be knocked down a peg or five, not in a disrespectful way, but just kind of like, I have to be assertive. And you're taking advantage. Okay, you're going to be noticing this a lot in the collective over the course of this week and next week. Okay, thank you, Laura, for your donation. Thank you so much. Yes, leaving my childhood home. Oh, Bill says, you helped me so much, you have no idea. Uh, Miss Independent says, exes. Melissa says, hate. Um, Bill says, family. Yes. Okay, so Firebray says, yes, lately I've been trying to be respectful to authorities. Author okay, so see, that is exactly what I got. Okay, so I feel like it's authorities specifically where... Okay, say it's like an officer or military or a landlord or a boss or a higher up or like a elder in the family. You guys know what I'm saying, right? There's somebody like a matriarch or a patriarch. There, there's a boss or a landlord. There's somebody that's like kind of pushing it a little too far with with how far you're willing to go or I, I don't even know how to explain it, but you're going to put your foot down. So I feel like what you are leaving behind is being 
Do you hear that, Harley? I don't know if you can hear it because the air conditioning's on. But it's like you are saying, hey, I know that you might want to do it this way, but that, it does not keep me safe. That does not work. That does not keep my children safe. That does not keep my family safe. So that's not going to work. Okay? Maybe because you've lost jobs before, you're like, oh, I don't want to tell my boss that, but you're going to. Okay. Um, say it's, say you've lost homes before, so you don't want to tell a landlord that. Like, somebody's taking advantage of your trauma. Okay, somebody is taking advantage of your trauma and seeing what they can get away with. And you're going to be kind of recognizing this like, whoa, that is crossing a line. You want to take advantage of my trauma and me like not being okay or not being able to move or not being able to finagle because some people think that you're trapped in this nest and you're not but they think that you are picking up what I'm saying. Like they're like, Oh, they have to be at this job. They have to be at this place that I, that I'm renting out to them. They have to stay here. Yep. They have to, they don't have any other options. People think that you don't people in authority that don't think you have options. Bestie, you might not have an option, but you're going to make one. You will find an exit. You will make a window. You will pack a bag. Yes, you will. So I don't know who these people thought they were because you've been trying to be really nice. I'm getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you've been trying so hard to just like not have to have this conversation. You've been trying so hard to like play it cute and like, but now they're in a position of strain. Now they're in a position of stress. So they're taking advantage of your position and you are not having it. You are not having it. Bill says, like, that was, like, where I lived last I got out. The smelling what you're telling. I like that. Are you smelling what I'm telling? <laughs> I never heard that before. Robin Dennis says, I'm smelling what you're telling. That is funny. You're welcome for the clarification. I don't F with authority as a concept. It isn't real. Got it. You guys crack me up. Awesome. I had 500 snails last night. Sort of overwhelming. I should try salt. Yeah. You guys could be seeing weird things unfold. If you guys have been watching the live streams that I've been doing the past week, you guys could be seeing weird, really weird, parasitic type of metaphorical things that you don't F with. Okay? You guys could be seeing gnats, mosquitoes, rodents, you guys could be seeing birds do weird things, squirrels do weird things, uh, I guess snails. You guys could be seeing things that are like showing you devil energy is near. And you're like, hold up. We're going to rebuke that, okay? We're going to rebuke that. You guys are being set in motion to leave this nest, to fly this coop, okay? You guys are using your discernment. So whoever, whoever and wherever people are trying to take advantage of you, okay, your last two messages are you are this energetic powerhouse. So people don't understand how you move, okay, people in authority. But what they're going to be finding out is you are, you don't tap out, right? You are breaking free. You are strong willed. And so people see that you're very youthful. You're like running on fumes. You're running on no sleep. You're not tapping out. So them thinking that you're just going to like give up and let them like, I don't know. Sorry, my stomach's growling. That they're just going to like, you're just going to be a doormat for them. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. So you're seeing people be kind of calculated with you. You're going to be calling them out. You're seeing people be kind of like, weird with you you're going to be calling them out and even if you normally don't like doing this you're going to be saying like hey i know that like this is this and that is that but i'm telling you right now you don't want to do that with me okay i don't tap out thank you amy 
Love your channel and energy, sis. Thank you so much. You've been eloquent. You've been quick-witted. You've been controlling certain emotions against these people, but you're not doing it anymore. You're like, I have invested time, money, my my body or whatever. Like, you've sacrificed a lot. You're not going to let anybody take take control over what you've sacrificed. You are an energetic powerhouse. Capiche? Okay, so you guys, drop your trumpets in the comments. Drop your castles in the comments. Um, affirm down below, twinkle, twinkle, because you are the star. Always going to be. Okay, twinkle, twinkle, I am the star. Always going to be. I'm going to write that down. Twinkle. My stomach is going crazy and I'm not, you know when your stomach's like going, growling and you're like, I'm not even hungry. Stop. Stop. Okay. Twinkle. Twinkle. I am the star. Okay. You are crushing it. You are crushing everything you touch. Yes. You guys, thank you. Castles and all. Trumpets and all. Twinkle, twinkle. Um, you're crushing it. You're crushing everything that you touch. They can't beat you. So they're like, oh, I, I maybe my, I might can fit in right there. No, they can't join you neither. No, they cannot. You are crushing everything in every sense of the word, including the wicked. Okay. So you guys could affirm I'm crushing it all. Okay. Including the wicked or especially the wicked. You are the twist in the tail. Okay, so I am the twist in the tail. You guys can fill in the blank. I'm the angel, duh. I'm the earth angel, duh. I am chosen, duh. So whatever your title is, like I'm the high priestess, duh. I'm the bad guy, duh. Okay? It is officially hitting the fan because people are officially finding out who you are. Okay? Okay? Of course, I got caramel on me. I'm going to say that again. People, it's a fish. Okay, so people are officially finding out who you are. So it is officially hitting the fan. I got caramel all over my hand. So and they can't beat you. So they're going to try to join you. They want to chew up, waste, spit on, or siphon your blessings. Beware because you are being shown who you can't, who in your life cannot be happy for you. The devil is turning your friends, your frenemies, or the unhealed or the weak against you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Not that they could, because you don't tap out, but you guys know what's going on. Um, and then again, copycats cannot show proof of how they got what they got. They're like, yeah, I, I got the same number as you. And they're like, okay, how'd you get that? And they're like, you know how I got it. And they're like, but how'd you get it? And you're like, but you know. Same way as you. They can't show any proof. Okay? They can't show any proof. And so these people want your codes, your cheat codes, your formula, your sauce. And it's backfiring. And you guys have done an incredible amount of work that you, that cannot be replicated. So twinkle, twinkle, I am the star. It is officially hitting the fan because people are officially finding out who you are. Okay? I bet they thought this song was about them, and it's not, <laughs> okay? I bet they thought this song was about them, and it's not. This freaking Carmel, are you kidding me? I hate when the cup is messy. Okay, it's gone. All right, you guys. I am going to get out of here again. Patreon, you guys have um, the person on your mind is going to be your guys' next pick a card. Okay, so again, the person on your mind, be checking the community tab. I will post when the video is live. It'll be posted within the next uh, 48 hours, okay? Love it, love it, love it. All right, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I went way over on time. Anyways, you guys can enjoy the replay. I feel like this was a fun one, a really, really fun, and I'm excited to watching the replay. Um, you guys can drop in the comments, what was your favorite movie? Okay, after the live stream ends, what was your favorite movie growing up? Okay, 
So that's going to be the spiritual assignment for after the live stream ends. What was your favorite movie growing up? Was it Goonies? Was it The Little Mermaid? Like whatever, what have you. And that can be the topic of discussion after the live stream. And then don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. Affirm what you want to bring into your life because it is happening, okay? People are officially finding out who you are and it is hitting the fan and everyone's losing their mind bestie it's happening and they're losing their mind they're like oh my gosh what is happening why is why is everyone talking about collective well because this song is about you okay love it all right guys thank you uh for being here thank you randon thank you savage queen and uh thank you virginia for being moderators for me. Thank you guys for having patience while I've had a lot of uh, time restrictions this week and I've been working a lot. So when I fiddle with my hair, it's because I've been like sticky and like sweating and working and I'm under all this lightning and I'm like, I'm struggling right now. Okay. But I don't tap out. I don't tap out. Okay. So again, Patreon, you'll have a video in the next 48 hours. And for everybody else, I'll see you when I see you, okay? So I'm taking some time off and besties on Patreon, you will get content while I'm taking time off. But everyone else, enjoy what has been posted this week. Enjoy the live streams. I put in a lot of love into your guys' messages and what I channeled um, from the divine. So I, I feel like if this is if this video was your jam, then you have other messages to enjoy. I love you guys so much. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Okay, bye Robin, bye L, bye Ricky. Um, oh, I forgot. You guys are always asking where the links are. The top of the description box, there is the Cash App link, okay? And then second is the Patreon link. Those are the only two links in the description box if you're looking. Thank you guys for your super chats. Don't forget to smash the you know what. Hit the bell, duh. You do not want to miss out. You guys know my schedule's crazy, okay? Like, today, for instance, I never go live this early. Never. Never. But things are a little wonky right now, okay? So take care of yourself. You are crushing everything you touch. They can't beat you. They can't beat you, and they can't join you. So, wah for them, all right? All right, guys, toodles. Love you. Whoa, let me not do that.